Well, there's something new as regards Aztec football on the campus, and let's take a look. This three and a half million dollar Aztec football complex took a year and a half to build. It's now one of the most unique and innovative football facilities in the nation. And most amazingly, it was erected at no cost to San Diego State. We, we built it because we went down and we talked to people in the Association of General Contractors. And many people indict builders, uh, saying that, you know, they're churning up the land. Well, these builders just went to bat and said they wanted to do some things for the community. And when you see the Dixie Lines and the Daily Corporations and the Morley Golden Companies, and, you know, and you go on and on and on as far as the number of companies that just locked arms. And then to get to the building trades, and they just came out and literally raised the barn. And we had retired plumbers, and like I said, job corps, and we had apprentices, and uh, we had uh, people that were off work, and uh, you know, we had people that were a little bit infirm. We had coaches, players, administrators, everybody throwing shovels and hammers around here. It happened. Uh, may we never build another one like it, but this one happened. So this is our facility. <laughs> you know, you're part of it too out there. We just think you have to have these kind of tools. It makes a very strong statement to any kind of prospective student athlete and to the current athletes that football is an important situation. It's not the most important thing in college life, but it's an important situation. If you're competing against UCLA or Arizona State or Oklahoma, and that's the kind of people we're competing with as far as the football prospects, then you must have this kind of state-of-the-art facility in order to go ahead and compete for the quality young people that represent you on the field. I think that what this facility gives us uh, more than I think any other facility that I've seen in the country is the ability to teach in a teaching situation. We have an environment where our young men can come in into a room, know that that's the room they go to every day in order to teach them the game of football. Because coaching is teaching. It's no different than the chemistry classroom. It's no different than the biology classroom. If you can't and you don't have an environment to teach, it's difficult for them to grasp what you're saying. But the big question is, with labor and materials donated for this Aztec football complex, will it be outmoded or obsolete in just three or four years from now? This is a first-class structure from the architect's rendering all the way down to which the last item that we put on was the uh, tile that you see on the walls right now. Everything here is first-class, state-of-the-art. This building will be here for years to come. In fact, my great-great-grandchildren who come to San Diego State will probably enjoy the facility. We had the grand opening here the other day, and, and uh, you had contractors here who had contributed anywhere from twenty-five to fifty to, to $100,000 in attendance uh, in, in, in materials and manpower and what have you. And you could watch their faces as they walked around. They were genuinely proud that they had given something back to the, to the, to the community in the San Diego State. So the facility is just, it, it's a total compact uh, Spanish hacienda in the middle of you know, Montezuma Mesa. And we just say, you know, I get excited when I talk about it. Lot, as far as the race is concerned, has to do with what your juxtaposition your schedule is, and so let's take a look at Aztec's schedule this year. Well, I think it's a very interesting schedule. We start out the first part of the year, we have three of our first four games against Pac-10 schools, and of course, obviously, the Air Force game on September 11th. Now, that's September 11th, Sunday. That's a huge football game for us, and so we're kind of, we're, we're gearing towards that right after UCLA. Okay, you go to Stanford, you have a bye, actually, and then you go to, you have Oregon at home, Boom, then you're right back into the league race again. With yeah, all the way, champion. yeah, all the way through. And what we have a very fine home schedule, as you can you can see here. You know, Wyoming is going to be a great ball game here, certainly, and Oregon will be a good ball game, and Air Force. So the fans got a chance to have a uh, real good home schedule for us this year. Okay, late October though, you got to go on the road two weeks in a row in the league. Yeah, we do. We actually uh, four of our last five run around the road, and that's kind of a quirk in our schedule. But the big, the, key, the huge game there is November 5th at BYU here. That's right. That's a dandy that one. All right, and there's the Aztecs schedule for 1988. But as the Aztecs open up their season tonight at home, uh, pardon me, on the road at the Rose Bowl, there are some other whack teams in action. Uh, the Denny Stoltz Show. Today's show has been brought to you by Miller Genuine Draft. Cold filtered for real draft taste. It's as real as it gets. Represented locally by Mesa Distributing. Great American, your advantage bank. Pepsi-Cola, the choice of a new generation. And the Pepsi-Cola Bottling Company of San Diego. Pacific Insurance, one step ahead. Calgary Racetrack Tijuana, playing across the border. And special thanks to Mesa Photo.